Not there, first things first. My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using ambient light projection technology gain. We're going to paint over. I started on this one already. This is actually a bit of bare silver screen, silver, and Christmas glitter uh, to make this particular color right here. It's just everyday light gray screen paint. I got to scrub my floor down here big time because kind of got some paint there. This is just a bunch of styrofoam blocks. This is right here is a piece of black wood um, I got over at. Uh, Got over at uh at Lowe's is a shelf. Now as you can see, it's got some damage to it right there. I wouldn't suggest if you have damages to your wall like that, not to paint over it. I would suggest basically sanding that down first. All right, so we're just going to paint over all this and turn it into a projection screen. Now, for those you've been asking me questions about the canvas screen because this is my canvas projection screen um, on how to get the canvas um, without getting the other canvas. There's other canvas out there like this right here that has seams in the middle of it and it has a rough surface to it. That may look the, make the image look gritty. Um, I'll put a link in the website uh, marketplace below. We can go to Amazon. You can get that uh, surface that we used here in the demonstration. Keep in mind, you can actually coat that over again with any form of paint, as long as you lay a foundation, it can be everyday white paint or a primer, or whatever you want, as long as you get a, a nice foundation to harden the surface and to prevent the Supreme 8 from seeping through. Now, I'm gonna show you this demonstration where contrast is everything. Oh, let me give you the size. So the size of that, when you do order it from Amazon, I think it does come with free shipping, those of you who have primer, well, it does have free shipping, but those of you who have primer, it'll be a little faster. Um, it is a nine by 12, so it's quite a large piece. All right, so um, over here, uh, I'm gonna show you how contrast is everything when you go to a planetarium and look up at the ceiling you will notice that it's not gray and it's not um, white it is black and the reason why is because outer space is black it's not gray or white all right so we're gonna take our supreme um, eight we're gonna coat over a few surfaces in here and I'm gonna show you how amazing this is going to look now first things first let's take our screen that's half gray and half uh, with our technology half and half which we just recently painted and show you what you are missing when it comes to contrast. And as I said before, contrast is everything. It means the difference whether you're going to have true uh, black levels, you know, deeper and deeper and richer colors. That's, that's where contrast comes in. That's where it's needed. You know, like I said before, OLED would not have spent all this money on a black tube or a black screen just to turn around and say it's pointless, we shouldn't have did this, it was not necessary, it is necessary, you have to have it. So, white wall on my projector, keep in mind, my projector is a Sony VPL, right there, it's a Sony VPL, and the projector is 30, 40, sorry, 4300 lumens WXGA at, um, at uh, 1920 by 12, so yeah, 1920 by 1200. So the reason why I'm using the most high power projector we have here in the shop, just to show you that, you know, even if you go out and you buy a name brand or high brand projector, that it's not gonna make a difference, you are still not gonna get that contrast. 20,000 to one, 10,000 to one, 12,000 to one, 8,000 to one, you're just not gonna get it. All right, so let's put our lights back on. That's why white screens and light gray screens are not ambient light rejection. They're right, they're not ambient light rejection. They're not. They are, um, they, are, um, they are not designed to be used for the environments. That's why they'll show off bright colors, because bright colors have a less of a chance of fading out. Now, to do a star field demonstration, they'll never do that, because a star field demonstration means they'll show the failure parts, well, actually the failure in their screens not having the ability to produce contrast. Now, they'll show off contrast, but the lights have to be off. Can't do the star field. You will never, ever see a light gray screen or white screen do a star field demonstration in any kind of ambient light environment or even outside. All right, so let's coat these real fast. We'll put a little here. We'll put a little on top of here like so on our styrofoam. Rollers don't make a difference. Some people will try to tell you. And also, too, look at the color of this. Now, I told you that, <clears throat> sorry about that. When we had our paint design, the base form is a special color shade. We had this engineered for us. And this keeps people from coming in and trying to mimic our uh, product by just using everyday black paint. So as you can see, there's a difference between the black here and the black here. So we'll coat this first. That coat it. 
And like I said, I wouldn't advise if you have any imperfections in your wall like that, I would suggest you sand that down, please. All right, so that right there is our shelf right there. We'll pick that up. We'll bring this over here like so. I'll put this right here, our black shelf right there. All right, it's kind of like I'm painting a vortex, isn't it? And then we'll go to our styrofoam. I'm gonna make sure my roller's down. I'm gonna coat over our, our styrofoam. Now this is a one coat application. If you are doing styrofoam, you know, I suggest you spray it on, so that way you get all the nooks and crannies you may be trying to get. So there we go, that's, our, that's my styrofoam screen right there. I did a styrofoam screen way back. There we go, so there's my styrofoam with a little frog tape. I'll take this from the back and get a grip on it. I dig my finger in there. All right, we'll put our styrofoam screen right there. All right, so you can see that for yourself. So there we go, styrofoam, a little bit of cardboard, part of that bare silver screen, and that right there is a shelf. All right, and in the middle we have, we have our white wall, and we have our um, we have our uh, sorry white wall on our bare silver screen. I want to coat this side of that because I got stars like reflecting off the side of that, and I want to do the side of that too. I want to paint the side of this. So that would look pretty cool. So let's put some of this on the side. So we get a kind of 3D cube. Sorry about that. If I'm moving the camera away and you're not seeing that, I do apologize. I'm sorry about that. All right, we're done. Got a little tape here I didn't get. There we go. Sorry about that. I keep moving the camera away. I do apologize for that. There we go. There we go. As you can see that. All right. So there's, get our cube over here. Put it right there. There we go. There's some of the stars are hitting the side of it. You can see what a white screen or gray screen can achieve. Can achieve that true contrast. Contrast is very important. And all this paint is still wet. Look at the white wall. Look at the reds and the pepper. Look at the bookcase. Now keep in mind, as our screen paint starts to dry, it will become lighter. When it's wet, it's dark. It's always like that. So I'll be doing two parts of this demonstration, once with the screen dried, and once or some once the screen wet, and one with the dry. Now see how the color can't pop in there? No color pop. Grab some fish. That's why when you watch these demonstrations with the light gray screens, it has to be done in the dark. It has to be. Contrast will not show up on these screens. 
And like I said, there isn't, when it comes to contrast failure, it isn't much of a difference between a light gray screen and a white screen. Now once all this dries, you're going to see all that brighten up. Now, if I didn't say this already, my projector, keep in mind, I don't know if I said it or not, I'm just trying to repeat it. My projector is a Sony projector, 4300 lumens WXGA. This projector is 1920 by 1200. And this it's a quite a powerful projector. It's just to show you that, if I, it's like I said, if I said this already, I do apologize, but if I didn't, I just want to recap. This projector is one of the most powerful projectors we have here in the shop. And some people feel that the higher they go up on their projector, the more advanced the picture quality is going to become. Yes, that is true, but if you don't have a proper screen to display that advancement, you're just not going to see it. Let's see if we can grab ourselves one more. Cause I gotta be out the door. I have much to do today. See the Sony projector. There it is. There's my Sony right there. And that's styrofoam. That's just to show you the demonstration for those who've been asking me, what can I paint this on? Just painted this over styrofoam cubes. Got the reds pop.
Let's see how this cream starts to dry. It gets brighter and brighter as it starts to dry. See, the background of this demonstration, the majority of the background of these demonstrations for OLED or AK demonstrations are done with black backgrounds to show off the, uh, um, the, or the TV screen's contrast capability. Well, you can't pull off a black background or color pop if you have a gray or you have a white screen. You can't get detail, you can't get depth, you can't get any of that. difference between here and here that's what I'm talking about all right for my time runs out here I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminus 4k screen paint using ambient light projection technology game times eight almost forgot to for a minute eight thank you all I have to go just showing you how easy it is to utilize and use our screen paint without the worrying about your screen washing or fading how you can use it in a full environment and keep in mind that light gray screen is being hit also too with a 4300 lumen projector so just to show you even if you have a high-end projector you're still not going to be able to achieve contrast you're not going to be able to achieve those deep uh, beautiful colors and keep in mind these lighter screens or light gray screens or white screens will keep you in the dark now even if you're using this, as I showed you in the Starfield demonstration, even if you're using this in a dark environment, you are still going to end up with an ashy gray screen. So is it worth it? Is it worth you going out spending all this money for an expensive projector or even an entry level projector just to turn around and find out that you're gonna be stuck in the dark, regardless. Just because you have 4,300 lumens, you think that you're not gonna be stuck in the dark. See the difference between the color here? Look how, look how bright the reds are here and how faded they're there. And this is what I mean by the white levels of our technology. Let's go back and get us up another one. See how beautiful that looks. Look at the white wall, completely washed out. 4,300 lumens. Sorry if I got the camera on a tilt there for a minute. Kind of pulling up videos here for y'all. See, got my camera right here. And this pulling up videos for you. It's my last one because I got to get out of here. I got an appointment today. It's very important. Now you see the color pop?
that's black technology color pop right there that's black technology color pop that's what happens to a gray screen when being hit with 4300 lumens and it has no contrast your color can't pop see the difference this is what I've been talking to you about from day one that's what you're missing I got this amazing projector over here but I'll never be to see what it can do because if I'm using a light gray screen or white screen, I'm not going to be able to pull it up. Your color is actually faded. It's not a brighter image, it's a faded image. People that are using those light screens will say, oh no, it's a, it's a brighter image. No, it's a faded image. That's what you're getting, a faded picture. Pause it right there. See the skin tone on here? Look at the skin tone. Look at the, look at the blues here and the blues there. Look how barely that's faded. And mind you, that is painted on a shelf. This is painted on styrofoam. And look what you're getting. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. You know, I just try to educate you on exactly what you're getting, that a lot of these light, well, actually all the light gray screen paints out there or white screens, I don't care if people don't like this or not, but truth is truth. You're not gonna get color pop. You're not gonna get contrast. You're not gonna get those rich colors that you're looking for using a white and gray screen. You're not getting brighter colors, you're getting a faded image. That's what you're getting. All right, thank you for your time. I have to go 